Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. And welcome back to the final New York vlog. Final day in paradise. Can you actually believe it? No, I'm sad. It's so sad. So today, we've pretty much got the whole day. Yeah. But we are travelling home tonight. Uh, yeah. What time's that flight? We'll fly home at 8 o'clock tonight. So we need to be setting off the airport like half three, four. Yeah. So we've pretty much got the full day. Yeah. Um, but this morning we went for our final breakfast in the hotel. I was just saying to Tom, I, obviously everything's bigger over here, like every yeah. food portion you have is like triple the size, but we had bagels for breakfast this morning. And I was saying to Tom, like, I at home usually get bagel things, but even if we got the normal bagels at home, they're still not as filling as the bagels here. No, no, not even in the same league as the bagels over here. Like, they are so big, they actually hurt my jaw eating them. Like, so big, like, they're just so, so filling. Anyways, yeah. today it's going to be another fun-filled day because we are actually going up. In fact, I can show you. What's it called, Tom? It's called The Edge. And if you can't tell, that's The it's Edge. that. <laughs> Yeah. We're going to be up on that and... Glass floor. You can even see the glass floor. Oh. <laughs> glass railings that you can you like, lean on. And, oh. I'm really excited but I'm a bit like... And it's oh. scared of heights. We once went to the Shard in London and I'm like there at the glass like leaning and now he's like stood behind me I think me, I did it? quite well though. You did do really well but you like stood behind me like, like this. <laughs> <laughs> like we went to um, go here from so at Dolby Forest and I was scared of that so yeah. that just explains how much... Can we go? Uh, Let's go. Yeah, we'll um, that just explains how much I'm scared of heights. So on this trip, I've conquered some fears. Let's put it that she way. Has conquered fears. We're proud of her, aren't we? Um, but yeah, we've literally got that booked. <laughs> and then what else are we gonna do? Uh, well, see where the day takes us. But hopefully, we might get time to go to Grand Central Station. Yeah, we went past that, that on the um, bus tour last night. Yeah, and it a lot looked... of movies filmed there. Just a beautiful building, and it's one of them that everyone says you need to see while you're in New York. Yeah. So, by the way, we have just actually walked past Madison Square Gardens. Yeah, but we were saying, like, when you get there, what do you do? This is like a big building, isn't it? No, it's just like, yeah. Can we because my arm is killing, sorry. Um, it is just like a massive building. Yeah, I mean, it is, but it's just like a big stadium where they hold music events. But you can't go in it, can you? I don't think so, unless you book, like, a tour, but no, I don't. I think so, but I'm just saying we've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've walked past it. Yeah, yeah. It's we like did. Another iconic building to see. Yeah, we did something else yesterday. We didn't actually mention on the last vlog, but we actually went to Macy's because. <laughs> oh yeah, we did. Everyone says that mate, you've got to go to Macy's when you come to New York. So we had a little wander in there. We've been to Sephora a few times. Yeah. We found this like cream that we both love. I just keep going in there and just like <laughs> yeah. my hands in it. You'll have I probably mean... seen it if you've got TikTok. It's the TikTok cream. I'm sure it's called. Is it Bum Bum? Robert De Niro or something? Robert De Niro? Who is that? He's an actor. Oh, I don't know. Really? <laughs> oh, He's made hand cream if he has. <laughs> Robert De Niro, I really like your hand cream. <laughs> it's in a yellow pot, but they do different ones. Anyway, it's absolutely, it smells it like just, a beach. Like, because we've been in there a few times, they look around all the makeup, I just literally sit there with my hands in this, in this test of cream. <laughs> like, just looking around and see what's coming over. Because <laughs> now. But anyways, if you are excited to spend another day in New York with us, then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Do you want to do another CD? We didn't do one of those yesterday. Yeah, I mean, we're both do. pretty basic today, to be I'm fair, aren't we? I'm in the so I've been in the entire time. The car goes on. I represent Black Hoodie. I only packed three jumpers. And I've worn, worn them as well. Yeah, so like, we're out of jumpers now. You look nice though, you look really nice. You look Thank cool. You. That's it. So, Elle's outfit of the I, day. I feel like I look the same because I've always worn this fur. Yeah. I've just literally got black leggings, black top, converse, fur. Just shows your hair. Oh. Spin around and shows the hair. Beautiful. Yeah. Voila. I don't even go there with the hair, right? Ever since me and Tom first got together, I used to always wear my hair like this. And ever since we first got together, Tommy has always loved my hair, like in a French plaid, yeah. Like, Love it. He it says it's his favourite hairstyle, and I never really wear it like that anymore. And because it's quite greasy, and I've obviously got nothing to style it with, I thought, today, do you know what? I'm just gonna put it in the French plaid. I cannot, like, I'm way out of practice. I've not done it in the longest time, so it's so messy. Like, I wish I could have someone to do it for me. It's proper messy, but anyway, it's out my face, and Tommy likes it. I love it. Um, how far away? Do we um, get well, in? literally just round this corner here, it's to the entrance. So oh, a little oh my bit god, early, look but... at that. And, oh, uh. <laughs> By the way, 
way, you can see this at the edge viewpoint. You can see it from everywhere, like all the bus stores and everything. So I'm hoping we're going to get a real good 360 view of like the Hudson and then also the Empire State and everything. So. on the edge and it's absolutely breathtaking. Ten o'clock is open so get your ten o'clock there's no one here. Do that thing again where you just oh it actually I makes it like, actually like, makes you feel sick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh it makes my stomach like turn. Look at the views there. Absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful day for us well. And like Tom said, it's really um, quiet because I think we were the first group in. It only opened at 10. God, it's really bright. I've got brownie sunglasses. Um, it opened at 10 and we, we were the 10 o'clock group. So it's literally like you can see. Empty. It's empty. Oh my God. It's just... Oh. Oh. oh my... Oh my God. <laughs> Tommy's at. Oh yeah, it's not smart. Oh, can you hold my hand? <laughs> <laughs> can you hold my hand? So I'm a bit. Ooh. It's actually like. <gasps> Tommy, what if it broke? What if it broke, I don't Tommy? Think it will break. But there's loads of people coming to stand. <laughs> <with it. gasps> oh my god, this is. Oh, I, can't, I don't like that. Not when there's loads of people jumping on it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually like that? Actually, makes you feel physically sick. That is mint. Tommy, I'm, do you want to go off now? I'm a bit scared for you. <laughs> Not when there's loads of people on it. Loving it. Is it picture of me? Yeah. Right. I'm on it. We're trying to get Els on it. I'm, I'll do it, and I'm just walking across, and that's it. Come on. No, hold, hold my hand. No. no. Yeah. I'm just gonna walk across it. Okay, you just walk across it. I'd be really proud of you if you do. Two. Three. She's got one foot on it. Here we go. <laughs> Why are you walking so fast, Els? <laughs> Why are you walking so fast? How proud are we of her for walking across that? So good. Look at that then. Whoo! That's the Hudson. Down there's World Trade. Uh, Brooklyn Bridge is over here. Empire State's there. Um, oh, it's gorgeous. I'm pretty sure this is New Jersey, but I'm not 100% sure. Statue of Liberty is right down there. Oh, yeah. It looks tiny, that little island, doesn't it? But actually, when you're on it, it's not that. Oh, small. yeah, there she is. There. Yeah. But how small is that <laughs> yeah. yeah. I literally cannot get over how beautiful these views are. Just look at that. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to go over to that corner because I've not been over there yet. Tom's just doing a TikTok. Um, so I'm just going to have a little nosy round while he does it. I've not been in this corner. Do you know what else I really like about it as well? You just kind of get like left to your own devices. Like you get brought up here in the lift and then they just leave you and you can just do what you want, which I think is really good. I think to be fair, this view is going to be pretty similar to the other one. Yeah. Pretty similar. 
Let's go back over there. It's getting a little bit more busy now, but I'm pretty sure there's like 10 past 10, 20 past 10, so they'll have let the next group up. Look at that. So, so, so pretty. Go over here. I don't know where Tom's gone, I've lost him. Oh, he's over there. Like the views this trip, I'm not being funny, but they're the nicest views we've ever seen in our lives. New York is something else for the views. I'm gonna go try and make him jump. <laughs> Behind the scenes. <laughs> Behind the scenes, but it can't. <laughs> yeah. So it's now quarter past 11. We've literally just been outside taking pictures, videos, looking at the views for literally an hour and 15. An hour and 15 minutes. So we came up at 10 o'clock. We've just took a little break to go to the toilet and come and get a drink. Um, there's like a gift shop up here, there's toilets up here and there's also a bar up here as well. Um, just in the corner. So we're just sat at a table now. We've got two Diet Cokes. Beautiful and just view. look at the views. Like just literally from any angle you're at in this building. It's 360, full 360. Yeah, it is. I would highly, highly, highly recommend. Would you say this is up there? Yeah. This, this has I feel like we keep saying that though, that we were saying this morning to each other, what are our top, we did, we said four, but let's do top five. What Everything we, just moved down one, and this goes into... Top five, what, right go on, top five things you'd recommend if you come to New York, in place, order. helicopter ride, helicopter ride was amazing, but it would be Which is crazy place. isn't it, when crazy. you think that. Um, in fourth place is Ellen's Sardis Diner. Yeah. In third place was the Pedicab tour. Yeah. In second place was <laughs> the night bus tour. And this comes first. This probably comes first. Really? I just feel like you don't get this anywhere else. This is like a night bus. Yeah, you can go. You can walk across Brooklyn Bridge and look back at the skyline. Nah, you know what I mean? you no, don't have you to can't. Do that to You're not see the that. same. No, you have to be up here to see this. So. Mine would be the same things, just in a slight different order. So mine would be helicopter ride fifth. Fourth would be Ellen Stardust Diner. Mm, although all these things are amazing, by the way. They're all like if I had to recommend five things, these would be the five things. And a lot of them aren't even expensive. Obviously, the helicopter ride is expensive, yeah. but any, everything else isn't really. Um, yeah, helicopter ride, Ellen Stardust Diner. Hmm. The, what's it called? Brown Central Park. I never Pedicab. The Pedicab Brown Central Park. Then this. Then the bus tour. So bus the night bus tour. I just think that night bus tour last night, like the, I think it made it better because it was pitch black and you could just see and all the lights. Like imagine being up here at night. Yeah. That would take I mean, first. That would be. The views here are incredible, but I think on the night bus last night it's just because it was pitch black. And yeah, the views from like, the night bus. Wow. Cross that bridge. And by the way, we both said to each other we weren't counting the engagement because of course that would be number one. No, of but, course. Of course. But we, we mean just like things for you to do. We're not going to go right. If you come you to New York, you've got to prepare. <laughs> That would come in first place for us both, wouldn't it? That yeah, was like the most magical moment ever in them views again. We just love a good view, don't we? Just love a good view. But if we weren't counting the engagement, which again, I'm still so sad that I can't wear my ring. We've literally booked an appointment for tomorrow. As soon as we get back into Manchester, we're going to the ring shop, aren't we? Well, yeah, yeah. And they're going to resize it. But I think they said it could take up to a week. I cannot wait to get that on because it just doesn't feel real, does it? No. Don't feel real at all. So if you're wondering why I've not got my ring on and you've not watched any of our other vlogs, it's because it was far too big. Um, and we had a little bit of a nightmare. If you've not seen our other vlogs, I'm going to link it up here. Um, and so I've put it in a box in the safe and I'm not wearing it until it fits my finger. If you want to know what that was, go watch the video. Um, but if you've watched it, you'll know exactly what I mean. But yeah, I think it's safe to say me and you just love a good view. Love a good view. We love. We've seen some amazing views. Like the engagement view was amazing. This view is amazing. The bus tour view. Just views from New York in general. New York are the best views I've ever seen. 100%. Yeah, they are me. Like up here, 
you can actually see it says on a clear day, which I don't think you can get much clearer. No, I, mean, I don't think no, you there can. There is quite a few clouds, but right, the visibility is yeah. 80 miles. Wow. Which don't know, I don't think we can see 80 miles now, but. It's just incredible, isn't it? And this whole place is just really nice. It's fresh, it's new. It's yeah, it's really. In March 2020. Is that what? Only three years ago? That's when it opened. Oh yeah, there's some little facts the up there. The glass tunnel surrounding edge lean out at a 6.6 degree angle so you can look down. You were doing that though, weren't you? You were leaning against right, them. them yeah. I've actually... Like, sorry, go on. Like, um, well, I was talking to a lad at work when I was saying, like, there's got to be a time when they fail. Everything fails well, in life once, doesn't it? Well, got to be a time. let's not even think about that, Tom. Um, oh, yeah, what I was just going to say is I've been over that walking thing so many times now so I was trying to do a TikTok and if you know me I'm not really very good at TikTok I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> so the pro over here I was like Tommy how do I do this and like, I was doing the simplest TikTok of literally the view and I just couldn't get to grabs anyway I did it um, you were 40 minutes doing it weren't you <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at TikTok at all um so yes I was walking over that thing on the floor loads I wasn't thinking about it I was trying to do my yeah. thing so You've been over another, another vehicle. I don't think I could do it slowly. I, I couldn't sit on it like you did. Like there's like, people laid on it. Like, what if something happened and you laid down? You wouldn't be able to like. If I'm stood up, at least I can run. If the fall falls. But if something starts to happen, at least I can decide. Oh, yeah. Whereas well. I feel like if you sat down or laid down, you've just got no chance in hell. Well, I don't think you've got much chance. In <laughs> let's let's not even. Anyway, we're gonna have a drink break and then we're probably gonna go out and. Look at the views for even longer. A little bit later on, we've uh, obviously made our way down from the edge, um, and then we have walked through New York to get to Grand Central Station. This okay. station is the most beautiful building, train station I've ever seen in the world. I mean, I can't actually get over the fact that train station. And so many movies now you're looking here have been filmed here, so we're a little bit again. Movie okay. stars, what, what does it remind you of the most? Friends of the Benefit. Yeah, the Flash Mob. Yeah, Flash Mob. Yeah, and in the one that. Um, so, there's even tours going on in the station. What's that one where his dad takes his box off and starts eating food? Yeah, that's Friends of Benefit. Oh, uh, no. Guy, yeah, that is Friends of Benefit. And this guy in the food up there. Yeah. And then he stops the. the, the whatever, he stops everyone, doesn't he, to tell her how much. Well, there's a Flash Mob yeah. when he joins in in the Flash Mob, doesn't it? Yeah. So this is what we're currently looking at. If you know what we're talking about, this all happened up here. And then, Just look at the ceiling. wow, there, right? that's a hand painted ceiling. This, this guy's just told us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh yeah, you can up in the rafters. What a beautiful building this how is. Nice is it? It's like a theater. It is. And this is just a train station. Wow. I bet it's busy with just people like yeah, us. That's what I mean. Just people like us just wanting to come and look at it. Like, what train station do you know that often tours? There's a guy. Of what? Surely, surely it's not just the tour. Well, maybe it's not, but what? Okay, what tour guide do you know that takes people into a train station? Yeah, like where the train station is one of the iconic. That's how you know it's iconic. Oh my god, it's. I just. Wow. I know I keep saying this, but that's one thing about New York. Like, there's so many amazing films. So yeah, like everywhere's a movie there's set. I'm just gonna give you a 360 view of this place. The chandeliers. That is crazy. We've got to learn and live our friends' benefits. Let, what? And go up there? Yeah, there, okay. Doing that thing again. <laughs> so I've got the picture of the friends with benefits now. I'm not 100% sure of which side there. it's at. Is it that side though? No, no. Hmm, actually. I don't know, I can't quite tell. Click on another one. You can see that's the like the box office a bit there, is it? I oh, don't I don't know. know. Is there another one? Should we watch the clip? That's just a picture. There we go. There we go. 
Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Being deleted. I wonder how many people have proposed here. Do you reckon a lot of people would have done? Uh, Do you not think? No, not really. I reckon people will have proposed like up there because it's like a love scene from a film. Don't you think? Yeah, maybe. Maybe a few have. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think people would have proposed up there? Tom doesn't think they would have done, but I just think it's like an iconic. Um, sorry, it's kind of a bit blurry. Right. I think it's like an iconic love scene from a movie. Do you know what I mean? I've got the clip. I feel like that tour guide from yesterday. Oh. Yeah, this is it. She's in the middle of the flash mob. Grand Central Station. So that, if we fast... Right. Oh, he stood there. Yeah, but that could be any... Any side. Gold handrail. The both of it is identical. Hang on, right. You've got... Oh, got it. It is there, because they're the one. one. It is that one because yeah, you've got the, um, hang on, it's gone right blurry there. again. This is why we need a new camera, which we've got, by the way, which is great. Um, they're the, yeah, it's there, 100%. 100%. I feel like you can tell just by looking at it. I know both sides look very similar. I feel like you can tell it's that side. Do you know what I mean? Look where we are again. We've come back to Ellen's Stardust Diner. Tom Fan said favorite. he really wanted to come back before we went and... I feel like I'm just going to get a milkshake or something like that. I'm not or like a starter or yeah, something small. What about them cheesy bites that we had last time and they never came? We'll get some cheese We can bites. share some of them, but we're not going to get anything big. I think we'll probably just get some in the airport later on, but there's actually no queue. If no you watched queue. our first day vlog, was it? There was a massive queue, so we had to queue in. Um, and just a tip as well, um, we've walked past here a couple of times for breakfast and there's been no queue. No queue so breakfast. I think tea time's the busiest time. We take that back, there was no tables for two. The so we've had queue, to form a queue. We're, we're starting the queue now because it's full in there. <laughs> No, there was some tables for like four and stuff though. There was like bigger tables. I'm surprised they hadn't just put us on one of them. Yeah, but maybe they just keep them for four. Just in case families are four, turn up. So. Yeah, true. There's loads of people that just come out there. Yeah. So I reckon we'll be like literally five minutes max. We're, we're, we're gonna get basically I don't know if we said last time we were here, but we ordered the mac and cheese bites and started and they never brought them. Wicked. So we're Witches. gonna get mac and cheese bites from there and then I think probably we're gonna get a shave. We're saying if we're not ready to do milkshakes, but I feel like you can't come here and not get one. when we were in Ellen's Starbucks and our battery went bust. Spare one one. It was, it was spare one was in my backpack. Yeah, in our things at the hotel. Yep. Anyways, the mac and cheese bites, if you go to Ellen's Starbucks down there, you have to get them because they're unreal. Um, and you, your milkshake, I think we've got to that, but you think yeah, we got it my was milkshake. all right, wasn't it? It was, it was all right, it was just sickly. By the time I got halfway down, it was very sickly. Yeah. Um, and it just turned into like cream and everything. It was mm. lovely, don't get me wrong, and if you're a milkshake person, get it. I didn't but, try like, it. For me, it was sickly. Anyways, it is now a few hours later, and we are actually in the airport on our way home. Oh. Sad times. Um, but of course, we've just stopped off for some food. I feel like the last time we spoke to you, we were having food, and then now we're having food. We're just I having a little snack. Like I don't, well, I was going to say, where do you think we are? The Golden Arches. Um, I don't know how long this vlog's been today, because obviously we are travelling home, so we haven't had too much time. We did have to, like, what, three? 
We had till three, but then from our own Starless Diner, we literally just had a move around and then walked back to the hotel, so we didn't yeah. do anything. Anyway, so we're at the airport now. What time are we on? We're on six o'clock. Six o'clock, and we fly in two hours, but I think we're born at 20 past seven, did they Yeah, something like that, 20 past seven. This airport is so different to the other um, American airports we've been to before, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it wasn't very nice coming in, but then as soon as you go through security, I feel like it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it is now. Like, there's yeah, loads of shops now. Now you're down to shops and things. There's loads of shops. Yeah. Anyways, how would you sum up New York in one word? Magnificent. I would say incredible. Incredible. Memories. Memories. I'd yeah. just say out of this world. Yeah, it's been it's been so good. I'd highly recommend coming to New York if you've not been before. Anyways, McDonald's. What have we gone for? What have you gone for? I went for a quarter pounder meal. Quarter pounder. Quite a pounder. Oh, uh, I thought that was ketchup then. Barbecue sauce. Yeah, I didn't mention back to Cosme. Um, we have ketchup as well. Quarter pounder meal, but with bacon in it. Nice. Um, mm. yeah. I'm so got? hungry. Quarter pounder with cheese and bacon. Are you hungry? Starving. We had those, we literally had breakfast, which we did, we just had a bagel. Um, and then we've had the mac and cheese bites to share and you had a milkshake and so I'm really hungry. I've gone for a Big Mac meal. I used to always, always get Big Mac meals and I've not had one in the longest time and I saw it on the menu and I thought, do you know what? When I finish off a New York trip with a Big Mac, mm, it's the Big Mac sauce for me. See, I've yeah, got a Big, Big Mac. Mac sauce, you're right. You've got a quarter pound of bacon. We're going to sit and eat this and then we're going to go over to Duty Free and get some snacks for the plane, That's aren't we? Way. Bon so we're now just waiting for our plane. I think we've got about 50 minutes to wait until we can start boarding. We've just been to get snacks. It's crazy how much things cost mm. because our McDonald's was cheaper than the bag of snacks we've just got, which baffles me. Um, but we have got cheddar cheese Pringles, which I've never tried before, I don't think. Tom got some popcorn. Tom got a vitamin, strawberry and lemon water, which we love them. We're going through all the flavours, trying them all. I got this, which I've never seen before, which is a smart water, a strawberry, strawberry and blackberry flavour, which I'll try in a sec. We got these, so there was loads and loads of M&Ms, and I said to Tom, oh, there's peanut ones, let's try them. And then I had a realisation that peanut M&Ms are just peanut M&Ms. I thought it was like M&Ms with peanut butter in. And then I realised it was just the ones that are at home. So we've got them, they cost $11. And then finally, does anyone remember this? That's such a throwback. We just got some chewing because obviously we're flying at eight o'clock. I think it's five past eight. So we, by the time we get back to the UK, I think it's a six, seven hour flight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three a.m. And then fast forward five hours. So like eight o'clock in the morning by the time we get back. But, but, I feel like all we've done is eat since we've been at this airport. But the, the, I guess this is like our tea. But I'm going to try and balance you here because Tom has gone to the toilet. So where can I balance you? Can you see me? Probably not very good, but I'm trying to eat. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Do you know what they taste like? Mmm. They taste like mini cheddars, and I'm a big, big fan of mini cheddars. Oh, they are so good. When Tom gets back, I'm going to get him to try one and tell us what, it, what he thinks it tastes like. And then I'm just going to have a little sip of this because I do want to keep this to the plane. Mm. That's really, really weird. That's really strange. It doesn't taste like flavoured water. It, it tastes like really, 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 really diluted. Like cringy. Like, you know, like imagine if you added like a tiny little drop. That's not the greatest. I won't lie. Um, but oh my god, them Pringles. I would highly recommend. If you like mini cheddars. Mm. Thomas. <laughs> Please just try one of those and tell me what it tastes like because I love the capital L. They're boring. What? <laughs> they are just a boring crisp. I love them. What do they taste like though? 
don't know. I don't know what you're comparing to. Serious? Yeah. You don't instantly know what they taste no. like? Mini cheddars? Yeah, they do taste like a bit like mini Don't they? And I love a mini cheddar. You do love mini cheddar. They just like dissolved in my mouth. Yeah, but don't they taste like mini cheddar? They taste like mini cheddars, I knew that. <laughs> but no, I didn't, I'm not really a massive fan. Oh my god. Oh well. All the more for me. Hello, everybody. A little bit of a different setup. I do apologise. It has been a mental day, as you can probably imagine. It always is when you're travelling. Um, so, I think we last spoke to you in the airport. So, to be fair, the airport actually went really, really quick. It didn't drag at all. It went, it, it seemed like we got there, we had food, we chilled for literally like half hour 40 minutes and then it was time to board the plane um on the plane we managed to sleep a little bit both of us actually which was good because obviously you, you're missing a night um i think we slept for about four hours maybe which was fairly decent um and then we got off and because we were in manchester um and tom got my ring from manchester um somewhere near Ch somewhere in cheshire i think it was um they have a jewellers in Cheshire as well, which was right next to the airport. So um, we ended up going to, we booked an appointment with them yesterday for half past nine this morning. Literally couldn't have worked out better timing. So we got there for literally like 20 past nine, went into the jewellers, they measured my finger and they were going to resize the ring for me. Um, it was literally seven sizes too big, which is crazy. But if you've watched the video where we explained the whole ring scenario, I think that was in the day one vlog um i'll link it up here just in case you want to go watch it and um, you'll understand why um sorry i feel a little bit delirious so yeah we went and got the my finger measured properly they said oh it'll take about five to seven days fantastic blah blah blah, blah. and then we got a text after to say because it's going down so much and there's like diamonds on the band basically they need to do something with the structure or something to make it perfect so it is going to take actually three to four weeks which I'm so gutted about because obviously, like I keep saying to Tom, it doesn't feel real because I've not got the ring on my finger. Like it just hasn't sunk in. I don't know that it will until I've got the ring on and I've worn it a while. But it's going to be so worth the wait because I can't wait to wear it. So that's going to be about three to four weeks, like I say. And then, yeah, we came straight home and it was so cute because when we got home, um, Tommy's mum had come and put like banners and balloons on our front door and like on the window and you know like stuff like that she'd put all banners and stuff up which was really cute and it was like it said you are engaged congratulations there was like balloons and stuff up um so that was really really nice to come home to and then i won't lie we've literally slept we've slept for a good five hours when we've been back um maybe even more actually it's five o'clock now and i'm just getting a little bit ready because i've actually got a nail appointment i know who would have booked a nail appointment for the day to get back on holiday? My nails really, really need doing. Like, I don't know why at the minute, but my nails are just chipping constantly. Like, I don't even know if you can see that, but they're just proper, proper chipping. Um, I'm really glad that I did, to be honest. Um, so I'm just making myself look a little bit more presentable because I looked rough. I looked really, really rough. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to get my nails done, and then I think I'm going to come home. We're both back at work tomorrow, so it's Wednesday today. Um, so it's a nice short week for us both, but we're back at work tomorrow. So I think when I come home, we'll literally just chill out on the sofa, to be honest. We won't be doing anything exciting. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and kind of round up this New York vlog. Sorry, the ending's a little bit weird, but I just thought whilst I was getting ready, I may as well come on and chat to you all. Honestly, it has been such an amazing trip. Like, I've had the most amazing time. It's just been so special, so magical. Like I keep I keep saying I've come back with a fiance. And I've also come back with loads of amazing memories. We've come back with loads of amazing memories. Um it's just been so much fun and it's it's been one of those places on our bucket list for the longest time. Like we've always wanted to go to New York. It's always been one of our dream places to go. So I'm so glad we've been. Um, the hotel was lovely. I would really, really, really recommend the hotel. It was called the Kixby Hotel. It was literally right in the centre of everything we needed to be. You could throw a stone and you'd literally be in Times Square. It was so close to everything. I'd really, really, really recommend that hotel. Um, let me just get Tom up. Tom, can you come here a sec, please? Could you just come here a sec, please? 
if you can hear a bath it's because tom's running himself there but i'm gonna run myself a nice hot bubble bath when i get in i'm just ending the vlog all right i'm just saying it's a little bit of a random ending but i thought i might as well just end it while i'm getting ready well matching <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> and I just noticed that as we walked through the door. I'm just saying, rounding it up, we had the best time ever. Unbelievable time. Could not have had a better time if we tried. The hotel, incredible, incredible. Unbelievable. Like destination. Location was the perfect. <laughs> location. It was a good destination, but the location was perfect uh, for the hotel. Um, we won't go into our top fives or anything, because I think we did that literally earlier on this vlog. I'm not yeah. sure how long this vlog's been. Um, but yeah, I feel really weird, like I feel a little bit delirious because obviously when we were vlogging with you this morning, that was actually yesterday morning. We've it's now, been one long day. Because <laughs> we've now been on the plane, slept, we've had a night. Missed five hours. Yeah. Lost them. And just... I actually feel relatively okay though now. I do now, I've been to sleep all afternoon. But yeah. I, jet lag's like a thing. Like that is a uh, real thing. Honestly guys, on the way back, um, so obviously Tom was driving home. I could not keep my eyes felt so heavy. I could not keep my eyes open. But I'm one of those people that won't sleep if Tommy can't because I just feel bad because he's obviously tired too. You kept saying, didn't you? Close your eyes, and I'm like, I can't. No, it's not yeah. fair on you. When you, you I, be... I was fine. I got a Starbucks, and oh, we stopped off another subway. Stopped off another subway. Got Starbucks. Got some loud Disney music playing, singing along. So I was absolutely fine. I wasn't. Yeah, but I still wasn't. I was still like. You were like, uh, mm, mm. like there was one point in Kai, you know, like when you see him in the movies, and, the, and they're like this, and he was like <laughs> nodding, and like her eyes were closed, and then she, she kept her eyes closed, and there was like I can't even remember what song it was, and she was like, um, <laughs> and pretending to sing, and then all of a sudden her head went, and, it, and, it, and then she like got straight back up, and I was like. Like the funniest thing I've seen. I know, but I don't like going to sleep because I feel guilty on you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Anyways, we are going to go ahead and wrap this vlog up. The last New York vlog. I cannot believe it's done. It's done. not it's... done up here. No, I was just about to say it's and done, finished, but it'll always be. It will always be in our hearts. It'll always be. In it's, our it, we had a, a massive, massive milestone in New York. We did massive anyways we really hope you've enjoyed this video if you have then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos and we shall see you in the next one bye, bye.